What's up, black and white sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, we have to talk about something very, very serious when it comes to the fallout from the Astros cheating scandal. Now, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to make a video about this, but there's a moron out there that'll say something every two seconds on so social media. Astros player Josh Reddick, he said that his family has received death threats. People are actually threatening his kids, his little children. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now, he said it's just on social media, but we know how social media works. Guys, when it comes to human life, families, this Astros cheating scandal is nothing, nothing. It means nothing compared to that. Yeah, I know that some people may be upset about what happened with the Astros, but to threaten the man's family. That's going way, way, way too far, completely way too far. And just for note, Carlos Correa said that Josh Reddick did not even participate in the cheating scandal. He said that Josh Reddick, Tony Kemp, and Jose Altuve weren't a part of the cheating scandal. Now, I get it. They were on the team. They knew about it. It is what it is. But they weren't active participants, according to Carlos Correa. This really, really bothers me. And it's not just that I'm an Astros fan. I mean, this is just disgusting that someone would actually threaten his life and his family's life. That's really, really ridiculous. Now, if the players want to come out and say, hey, we lost respect for the Astros, that kind of thing, I don't think any player would sign off on the Astros' families getting death threats. I just don't see that. So he says this, Josh Reddit says this. He says, for me, myself, having almost five-month-old boys, five-month-olds, it's going to be pretty scary because my wife is going, going to want to go, want to come and on a lot of road trips just because wanting to have my help in raising them and doing the parenting thing. So it's definitely something you can think about every night. Yeah, that that's that's ridiculous. Social media is relentless. It is threatening a man and his family over this. That's just going way too far, way too far. And he continues on here with some more troubling things. He says, I think the best situation for us is to have our families be safe and ourselves be safe. But yeah, I think player unity is going to be a bit thing, especially with the way things are going now the way things will be in a couple of years to renegotiate stuff. I think this is one of the, one of the, one of the ways the players need to get united. I think the more we are one on the same page and united, it is going to be better for the whole game. It may take some time. The way thing, the way th this thing is being handled right now. I think ultimately the family safety is a big issue right now. And he actually describes one of the instances on what someone said. It's very, very troubling. He says this. I put a post of my kid rolling over for the first time. And I got to look down there and see, I hope your kid gets cancer. It makes you really want to see that person in person really makes you want to go up to him and see what they would do if you put your face to their face and really get a little bit of retribution for yourself. Pisses you off. So people want his kids to get cancer over a baseball game, over a baseball season. It's not that serious when it comes to this Astros cheating scandal compared to human life. 
wishing his kids get cancer. These people are disgusting. I know a lot of people have lost respect for a lot of the Astros players. This is 10 times worse than anything the Astros have done. Wishing death on little kids. Wishing Josh Reddick and his family would just die. It's unbelievable how some people can be so insensitive. I really don't have anything else to say about this. This is going way too far. I guess I could have, should have saw this coming, you know, death threats and things like this. People really, really need to check themselves in the mirror when it comes to this Astros cheating scandal. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Josh Reddick and his family receiving death threats over the Astros cheating scandal. This is the lowest of the lowest. Guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time.